Hi everybody, we're back again. Like I promised uh, last video that I would ask Wigbert again to show us some more tricks and tips for, uh, for the bongo. Because bongo naturally is a, an instrument that has to speak. You make a lot of variations. You re react on other things that are happening in the band. So it's not just playing the martillo, but the bongo is doing uh, extra things, more variations. And of course, I've asked the, the master to show us some tricks and uh, let's give the word to Wigbert. Yeah, we want to start to show you uh, how it fit with the clave. And uh, uh, this one is very usable when you start to uh, fill in uh, with the materio. Uh, we call it the repige, uh, that is accent, the first accent. For, for the bongo and we will do it within the two three clave. Let's go. Okay, we start with the two three clave and the variation that Wigbert will explain. First we will demonstrate how it sounds and then we will explain how you can play this. Yes? I will start with the two three clave. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, let's do this same variation with the four on the hamra. It's very important. And the, in the first bar, directly after the four, you play a loud accent or repik, as they call it too. So the first bar after the four, one, two, three, four, ka. And the second bar in the three part, you play towards the four. So it's just before the four. So this, in the three part, you play one, two, three, katum. So the first bar is taki, 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 ka, tiki, tika, tum. Yeah, let's play this in a slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, I will ask Wigbert because you have seen that after this first accent that he's playing with his left hand after the four, that there is a, he keeps a little space. He's not playing on the one in the next bar with his right hand. He's not doing this. Uh, it's like you play this accent and you can breathe. It's like pak tiki pak tunka. It's open and not like tak tiki taki tunka tak and immediately with your right hand. But how to continue with the martillo? If you play this accent, I will ask Wigbert to show us in a slow tempo different ways after this accent how you can continue to play this martillo.
Okay, I hope the variations that Richard showed you are useful for you, that you can start playing, make your own variations and things. But now, uh, the last thing we want to show uh, you is some nice grooves that you can use playing martillo, other rhythms, the nice things you can play on the bongos. Yeah? Usable. So, yeah. Usable. Yeah. And funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, what do you want to show first? Um, let's start with the martillo and then we change uh, in one groove uh, to, 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 to show how you can do that. Okay. Okay, you have some other funny things like uh, playing maraca. Let's let's do that too. Play the maraca <laughs> with your you finger. <laughs> okay. It's very nice. Okay. Uh, we do it with a little bit slower. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and you have a funny thing with uh, the Roomba clave. Eh? Oh yeah, also we can show that too. Yeah, first slow. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> hope you had a good time with us and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.